George, I suppose things have settled in a little bit now. Two wickets on debut, including Babar Azam and George Bartlett. Two pretty big scalps. I mean, when you reflect on that game, what's your thought process? It was a bit of a blur at the moment. It was a, an amazing, amazing four days. Four days I wasn't expecting to play. It was great to, great to get the go ahead. And yeah, but I thought I was really happy with how I bowled. Um, I just did what, what Pop asked me to do. Bowl and coach and just you know, hit, hit those areas hard. Run in and do what I've been doing for the second team and the rewards came in getting those two wickets. Do you think that late inclusion helped you? It means you didn't have to kind of stew almost throughout the whole week. You could just come and stick to your game plan? Yeah, I think so. I mean, there was a bit of time out to wait. So we, had, we trained the day before the game and I was told that then. So then for them to be told I had 24 hours to dwell on it and kind of get my head around that. Um, but, I, I, you know, I stayed over with Robbie Yates that night so we could kind of chat, chat things through and it was nice to have him there. But yeah, it was it was a, it was a whirlwind 24 hours. But you know, once I got there, nine o'clock on on day one, it was you know, I was ready to go, ready to go. What's the feedback you receive from Pop and people like Jim and Jits? Just if I play the next game, just do what I've been doing really. Um, I hit Eric consistently. I uh, didn't didn't give him many bad balls. Uh, natural variation. Um, and yeah, I thought it was pretty positive. It was all pretty positive. Obviously, it wasn't great that we came out on the losing side. Um, but against a good side in Somerset, so um, you know a lot of positives to take. Born at better batters, almost well, world-class batters, and you know, like Sir Babar Azam, you know, learn learn from those experiences, and it was it was a great experience to bowl at him. Was it harder and tougher than you expected? No, if anything, I found it a bit easier, just because the better the batter you bowl at, the, the, sometimes the better you bowl, and you know that you have to be on it. Any any loose deliveries, and they're going to be casted to the boundary. And I think that showed in the way I bowled at Baba, Baba Azam. It was, I was just at the top of my mark thing, saying, right, bowl your best ball, bowl your best ball, and not trying to overcomplicate it. Um, whereas if I was bowling at maybe a, in, the, in the Birmingham League, I might have tried to do something different, and that's when the bad ball would have come. So you know, keeping it keeping a real simple, bowl my best ball, and that prevailed, really. That was nice. We spoke in Abu Dhabi at pre-season, and we, you, you spoke about how you want to make your first cast debut this season, but it's always a bit of a surprise still that it's happened so soon. Yeah, for sure. Um, it, even though I said at the start of the season it would have been nice to, to make my debut, I didn't think it would would happen. Um, but yeah, the last three weeks have been an absolute whirlwind, amazing roller coaster. Um, three weeks that I'll never forget, uh, and hopefully three weeks I've like, taken my stride and used as a as a, as a bat bouncing ball to, to propel myself forward and hopefully hopefully make a successful career with the Bears. And the final question is, what's your aspirations now? Is it just to play in every game, try and compete against the very best, and hopefully? Warwickshire can then avoid relegation and survive in Division 1? Yeah, for sure. We've got big big three games now. Um, obviously, selection depending. It'd be nice to, to get a go and, and try and do my best for, for Warwickshire. Just keep trying to repeat what I've done out here against Somerset. You know, hit smash in that area. Um, and, you know, your best ball will be, res be respected. We've got three big games. Uh, I think we just got to concentrate on what we can do. We try and play the best, best way we do, which is hard cricket. Um, but be positive. And try and bounce back from Somerset. You know, I thought we played a lot of lot of good cricket in that in that four days. And it just shows that four day cricket, one session can lose you a game, and that did in the end of day three when we got, you know, bowled out for one forty odd, and we could have taken a game away from Somerset. So hopefully learn from that, um, and try and put ourselves in the best positions to to stay in Division One for next year. But the lads aren't down, are they? You've had a couple of days off. You've come back. You have trained hard. You you've worked hard. There seems to be a bit of a bounce in that changing room. Everyone's optimistic and excited for these three games. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Think you can approach them with too much negativity. You've got your positives. You've got to go. That's when you play your best cricket. When you're relaxed. Um, don't get me wrong. There's there's pressure there, and we need to you know, we need to use that pressure to advantage and go and play play the best cricket that we know we can. Um, but yeah, it's a good place to be. The dressing room, obviously, you know, sit, sitting second from bottom. Nice to get a couple of wins and really have a bit of breathing breathing space um, and hopefully stay in Division 1 for, for next year, which will be nice.